Hi everyone. So in this video, we will be talking about TCS NQT second shift analysis, 2 p.m. shift. Okay. And I did not actually had a time. Even I had not uh, my lunch today because I am working since morning today. Because yes, it is important day for all of you. It is important day for us also because if we are doing something, we should also do with our 100% dedication. From today's morning, I only had my breakfast and till morning uh, uh, since morning i am only working so make sure to like this video at least for the efforts and in this video we will be talking about the second shift analysis okay second shift analysis we will be talking about so morning shift analysis already we have done in the uh, previous video in this video we will be talking about second shift okay so let's quickly do everything so first of all there was foundation section okay in the foundation section again okay there is numeric ability reasoning and english first of all let's talk about numeric ability so in numeric ability in the second shift again all the questions are very very difficult most of the feedback which i got from the students almost the feedback is same almost all the students have done the questions between six to eight okay and then they guess the question but i am assuming again the cutoff will be around it only like six to eight something like this should be the cutoff okay or if you have done more than six to eight if you have done some guesswork like if your guesswork is good so if you like uh, did seven plus or eight plus i think it should be the qualifying cutoff for numeric ability and most of the questions which got asked from numeric ability what was the main problem what is the exact problem so suppose this is this is the question given suppose okay all the students who have given today's exam will relate to this line so suppose this question we need to solve okay suppose this question is from si and ci okay now in one question actually they attached two to three equations okay which we need to solve separately after that then we need to give the answer so each question actually was taking around four minutes to five minutes to solve okay that was the main problem so that's why most of the candidates only did like four to five questions correctly then they did the guesswork in the last one minute okay this was the main problem because the questions were very very lengthy after combining two to three equations only they could solve the question but it was not the case with each and every question so the main important part is first to identify don't go with the flow like you you, you will solve the first question first no first see which question you can solve early okay uh, overall but the uh, see if the level is difficult for you the level is difficult for everyone so don't worry much about it as i am talking to a lot of students okay so i know what will gonna happen the cutoff will go down don't worry last year the cutoff was around 12 plus but this year definitely the cutoff will die in the range of six to eight question okay and if your guesswork it is good seven eight question i think it will be okay 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 or enough okay or if you have done eight plus i think that should be enough okay talking about reasoning again the reasoning was simple but in this shift the reasoning was little bit difficult than the previous shift okay from the morning shift okay from the morning shift the level of reasoning is little bit difficult in the second shift so for morning shift we talked about 12 plus 13 plus for this shift 11 to 12 question plus could be a good score okay 11 to 12 question plus could be a good score and uh, if you have done 12 plus i think again it is a good score english again bilkul as it is same level as the morning shift okay rcs were very very lengthy even in this shift the level of the rc is little bit more difficult than the morning shift okay rcs were very very lengthy with the tough words but overall again english was easy to medium level okay easy to medium level still if you have managed to solve 12 13 plus i think it should be a okay okay she score okay now coming to the main point uh, which is advanced section for advanced sections uh, the two coding questions i will be telling to you also uh, the the basic uh, advanced section so advanced section okay theta type questions were there in which you need to type the question answer but the questions level were easy okay the question were easy in this most of the question which candidates got in uh, this as well as uh, 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 in the previous section many candidates got the questions from uh, di also okay and quadratic equation okay quadratic equation also uh, some question uh, candidates got from percentage okay so these kind of questions were there in foundation and uh, the advanced section okay and uh, for this one i think 8 to 10 plus questions if you have done i think it should be good for digital okay digital but the main part is you should qualify the foundation section first okay talking about this shift coding question the first question was pretty straightforward 
इट इज लॉन्गेस्ट पैलेंड्रोमिक सब स्ट्रिंग ओके दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड एंड एग्जैक्ट दीज थ्री वर्ड्स आर इनफ टू डिस्क्राइब द कोडिंग क्वेश्चन लॉन्गेस्ट पैलेंड्रोमिक सब स्ट्रिंग सेकेंड क्वेश्चन वॉज जी सी डी ऑफ द एरे विथ मैक्स डिफरेंस समथिंग लाइक दैट आई थिंक ओके विथ मैक्स डिफरेंस so with max difference gt gcd of two array something like that the question was there okay exact wording i will be just talking to the student what was the exact question but like this the second question was gcd of the two arrays with maximum difference uh, something like that that okay so these are the two coding question which they did ask okay in this shift question actually many candidates did the coding question this one gcd of the array one was the difficult one and many candidates did not pass the test cases in this one longest palindromic substring was a straight question okay and many candidates did pass the test case so i am assuming if you want a digital okay if you have done four plus test cases in this okay four plus or five plus test cases it should be good if you have done uh, like combining both the questions okay if you have done seven plus test cases pass like seven eight nine test cases if you have passed combining both questions okay so i think eight sh eight plus should be good enough to i think get a uh, prime okay so this is my prediction for this shift so let's straight away move forward with the cutoff so for numeric i am giving the prediction as between 6 to 8 plus reasoning i am giving uh, around 12 plus you can say english after seeing this shift 13 12 to 13 plus i think should be good okay advanced section to get digital or prime 8 to 10 plus should be there and uh, coding question for digital 4 plus i think 4 plus can be there four five or six plus to four to six plus cases i would i would say for digital and for prime i would suggest eight plus cases so this is my prediction for this shift i hope you guys like this video thank you so much for watching